Leah has been through a lot in recent months, after her and Justin's ordeal at the hands of Vita Nova left her with night terrors, which culminated in her holding Justin at knife point in the diner. Her continued struggles saw her leave the bay for a six-week stint in a mental health facility, and when she returned, she was reluctant to restart her relationship with Justin, fearful of relapsing. Thankfully, she's managed to put that behind her, and she and Justin have reunited in recent weeks, with Leah finally returning to their house on Healy Road. The pair got more positive news when Justin finished his community service last week, and with multiple roadblocks overcome, Justin is keen to get things firmly back on track. Next week, as he and Leah share a candlelit dinner to celebrate Justin's newfound freedom, he asks her if it's time for the wedding to be back on. It feels like things are coming good again, with community service behind me and you back home. So, I wanted to ask, how would you feel about moving forward with the wedding? You mean like set a date? Leah asks, taken aback. Leah's uncertainty is perfectly obvious as she tells him that it's too much too soon. She thanks him for being patient with her, but it leaves Justin feeling rejected. The following morning, Leah meets up with Valerie and explains that when Justin asked her about moving forward with the wedding, her first instinct was fear. She admits that she's scared of hurting him again, but Valerie points out that Justin clearly isn't scared. He immediately apologizes for moving too fast the previous evening. But Leah interrupts and explains how he's got nothing to apologize for, she wants to marry him. The following morning, as Justin excitedly tracks down their wedding planning spreadsheet, starts discussing dates and expresses his desire to get Theo on board to help with the planning, Leah begins to get overwhelmed. Assuring him that she does want to marry him, she she suggests that they hold off telling people for just a few more days, and Justin reluctantly agrees. Justin as always, can't bring himself to listen to his fiancée as he struggles to contain his excitement. It's all he can do not to tell Irene, Lynn McGranger, as they talk to her at the coffee cart. Later, as an excited Justin bounces up and down in the diner as Leah works her shift, Leah gives in. As she gives him a nod of permission, he excitedly blurts out their news, the wedding is back on. Irene is elated for them, but shortly after, she pulls Leah to one side and checks that things aren't moving too fast for her, inadvertently planting more doubt in Leah's mind. That afternoon, as Leah is back at the house, believing she's alone, she receives a call back from the mental health clinic. After getting put through to her counselor Dr. Brooks, she explains, there's a lot that's been happening, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. Yet Leah has no idea that Justin has arrived home unexpectedly. As he listens into the conversation from the living room, his face drops. Busted, Leah explains that she just wanted to check in with her clinician and make sure that she's not taking things too far. After an online consultation the following day, Leah tells Justin that her counselor couldn't give her any answers, but the fact that Leah was unsure herself meant that the counselor believed she had more work to do. She's given me the option to go back to the clinic, for a week, Leah tells him. Justin is nervous but tells her that, while he'd prefer her to stay in Summer Bay, she has to do what's good for her. I think I should go, for us as much as myself, Leah adds. The sooner the better, I think. Justin assures her that the important thing is that she's healthy and happy, and tells her to go, do the work you need to. I'll be right here ready to marry you when you get back. And with that, Leah packs her bags and prepares to depart Summer Bay once again. Before she goes, Justin gives her back the engagement ring, which she's more than happy to wear.